Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video I have a very much useful and great tool for you. In this video I will talk about the Q Photo Rake. Now probably you know that Photo Rake is the file recovery utility for Linux and Windows system and this is basically a command line application. But Q Photo Rake this is a Qt version Qt5 GUI of the Photo Rake. So you will actually uh, use the software of photo rake in GUI. You know that many other softwares that is the proprietary or closed source softwares are available for the file recovery and you have to pay something for that. But this Q photo rake is 100% free and open source software so no limitations will be there. So you can recover any amount of data from your pen drive if it is recoverable. So don't skip any part of this video here I will show you guys that how you can download and use it in the Windows system in Linux system and how you can recover the deleted permanently deleted files and folders from a pen drive a USB drive or from the hard drive or SSD. So watch this video very carefully and you do just one thing hit the like button subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon and also you can now join me and send super thanks. Okay so without further delay let's jump into our main topic today. Now let's see from where you can download the photo rake and you can see this is the photo rake uh, official page I will put the link in the description below and here you can see that uh, this is the photo rake uh, website and now supported uh, operating system uh, of course uh, windows dos any windows operating system any linux bsd sun solaris and mac os x now which file system it can detect and uh, from which file system it can it can uh, recover uh, files actually so you can see the fat ntfs xfat and all the ext2 3 and 4 file system and hfs plus okay so whatever uh, you are operating system linux or um, uh, windows so no problem with that uh, and the media you can see that uh, it can recover files from the cd rom from hard disks memory cards uh, usb drives and dd raw image and also from the ipod and these digital cameras you can you can see the list here all these digital cameras are supported by the photo rig and now which type of uh, file system it can recover <laughs> actually the list is pretty huge okay so you can see that uh, the known file formats the popular formats are zip office and pdf html jpg and here you will get the all list of files and i am showing you and this is you can see this is the archive file that is 7zip rar and all that and these are some multimedia files so mp4 avi uh, mp3 dj view and all these uh, type of uh, files are uh, huge the number is huge and these are the office packages you can see so open office that is the libre office package or microsoft office whatever it is uh, supported you can see and some other uh, you can see the list is <laughs> really big all right and uh, how photo rec works basically uh, when you uh, delete a file or delete a folder so actually uh, their location is deleted or hidden from you but the actual thing is there in the in the in the data blocks until and unless uh, any other uh, data uh, replace that okay so uh, by that way now photo rec uh, how it works actually it can recover the location and the file name and all that so that it can recover the files you can you can uh, read this uh, for the detail and now let's uh, download the photo rec so this is you can see this is the download test disk and photo rec photo is actually uh, this is a part of test disk so inside the test disk photo disk is there and you can see two versions are available this is the beta version 7.2 and this is the stable version 7.1 i will recommend to use the beta version because this is this is latest and uh, the latest technologies and latest updates you will get in this beta version so you must download the beta version and the operating system you can see windows uh, 32 64 mac os linux and all that so uh, for now i am downloading for windows so windows 64 bit all right you can see uh, that it is starts downloading so 26 mb of uh, file size it is and since it is a zip file so you must uh, install a uh, rar winrar or 7zip first uh, to open the file all right now after downloading i am just uh, showing uh, uh, the demo that how you can work with this uh, q photo rake so for that i have inserted uh, a usb drive and this is you can see this is actually my ventoy uh, bootable usb drive so i can copy and paste anything in it 
and it has two partitions one efi and one uh, the usual partition and you can see uh, there are uh, some files this is an mp4 video file this is a png image file this is a jpg image file this is an exe file application file and this is a pdf file so these five types of uh, files i have chosen and now i will uh, permanently delete these uh, files and i will recover okay had this pen drive actually uh, had some other things uh, some other iso linux uh, pop os um, uh, iso image okay all that i have deleted it already but i am showing you guys uh, so just uh, select all and shift delete so you can see that these files will be permanently deleted okay so this will be not in the uh, recycle bin so yes so you can see now the folder is empty so uh, my usb drive is empty and now I will recover these things uh, using the uh, QPhoto array. For that, uh, go to the download directory where, where you have uh, downloaded the uh, photo array, that is the test disk utility, test disk 7.2, you can see. And to open this uh, file, you have to uh, WinRAR uh, w install in your system. So first do that and then double click here. And you can see test disk and uh, just double click here. And here just scroll down and here you will see this is the Q photo rec win right so win means uh, windows so double click here so it will extract and run yes okay and now you can see so these are all the partitions uh, of my uh, in my hard drive and from here uh, so first of all uh, select a media to recover from so i have to first select a, a media uh, from where i have to recover so here you can see this is the ssd and here is the arrow and here uh, i have to choose uh, this is my hp uh, 8 gb pen drive okay and you can see uh, there are two partitions uh, so this is the big partition uh, this is the main partition almost uh, 8 gb in size so I have to choose and this is this is in e, 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 XFAT format, right? And uh, it will automatically detect that it is a XFAT or uh, NTFS format. And now uh, here's the option, uh, scan for file uh, for, uh, from unallocated space only or whole. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing the whole, right? So I'm just selecting this and the whole partition. Okay, so uh, not from the allocated space, I will uh, scan the whole uh, pen drive to extract the files. Now, here is the file format you can see and when you click here and you can see there are a large number of file formats here, you can see that. Okay, so you can uh, check and uncheck uh, these type of file system, whatever uh, you want to recover. Suppose you, are rec uh, you want to recover only the uh, image file, so uh, you have to just... Uh, uh, check the uh, PNG formats and JPG format and you can see uh, there are many formats are here such as 7-zip you can see that and all other formats are there. So what uh, I'm doing uh, right now that uh, all all type of files uh, I want to recover. Okay and let's see that uh, which files it can recover. Okay. Okay now uh, I have to uh, give the destination uh, folder where the recovered files will be uh, there. Okay so for that browse from here you can see that. And here I will browse, I have already created an empty folder. So I'm just going there. Okay, so recovered files, right? So this file I'm selecting. So select folder, you can see that. So in this folder, the recover files will be there. It is recommended to uh, save the save the recovered files in a different drive uh, where uh, from where you are recovering because uh, that will be the uh, good chances of recovering the files right and uh, now uh, now search okay just click here search all right and you can see now photo rec uh, starts working and you can see uh, this is the this is the progress bar and these are reading sectors okay the process is going on Okay, so sometimes we will be required to uh, recovering these files because all the scanning, deep sc uh, scanning uh, will be there. And here is the list of files that it is recovering. Okay, so uh, live list you, you will see here. Okay, that what type of files it is recovering. 
now it is almost done you can see 98 percent and 86 files found and here the here are the list of files of what it uh, has recovered so elf txt file exe file png file 4 and jpg file 2 mov file rar file iso file and other file okay so you can so all these files it has recovered so the process is complete and now i can uh, quit the uh, application and now i have to go to my uh, that folder where i have recovered all the files and inside this folder you can see uh, there is a file named uh, recup dir and here are the all list of files so many files are there you can see all these are elf files this is not necessary for me and uh, to win rar file the file names are changed and this is the one PDF file. So let's open the PDF. Yes, the PDF is in perfectly well condition, 100% recovered. But the file name, it has changed. Okay, this is actually Wireshark tutorial. But, uh, this is a JPG file. Okay, so <laughs> this file is okay. JPG file is okay. And this is a MP4 file. Yes, this is also very well conditioned. You can see it has recovered perfectly. And this is an exe file. This is also perfect. And also some other mp4 files. You can see that. So one iso file, it has uh, recovered. Okay, you can recover as many as files, uh, whatever uh, it is possible to recover. And no prices uh, you have to pay. And subscribe the channel hit the notification bell icon also you can join me and send super thanks so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye